As promised, I have something special to show you tonight. Think back to long ago. Back to a time when you felt happy. Sorry about today. I don't usually burn the bacon like that. That's all right. I don't mind it a little crispy. I can tell something's going on with you. Are you working too hard? <laughs> no, I'm fine. <laughs> You've been gaining weight, haven't you? Can't forget to eat your veggies. Well, I put ketchup on almost everything. <laughs> that doesn't count. You know what? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Maybe a little workout will burn out those extra calories. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Fond memories, huh? You should think long and hard about what you have to lose. Let's do this again tomorrow. If you can survive, that is. just a tradition, right? Seriously, who wants to be tied down? As long as two people are together, it's okay, right? It's best to be free, don't you think? Kind of surprising. Hmm? You know how it is with most girls. As soon as they're adults, all they can think about is tying the knot, right? But there are girls like you out there. <laughs> Never knew. Oh, it's not that strange, is it? Men aren't the only ones who fear being chained down. I'll remember that. Thank goodness. Huh? We think alike. Oh! work tomorrow, so I need to get home. Oh, mm. oh. I had fun tonight. Oh, oh. You must like what you <laughs> see. I'm not staring. You're a bad liar. <laughs> you taste like smoke, <laughs> but I don't mind. Ha! You don't say. This is not good. Hmm? <gasps> what is it good? Well, uh, you know, hooking up after we just met. Jeez, what the hell am I saying? Mm hmm? Um, is this gonna be a problem? So, okay, I cheated on Catherine. This is bad. This is really, really bad. But I didn't make a move. She forced herself on me. Fuck, man. I drank way too much. Uh, would you mind not staring at me like that? It's kind of creepy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Listen, I don't want you to get the wrong idea, okay? I don't just sleep around. I came here because I like you. Huh? Oh. Oh. No. So... How do you feel about me? Huh? Oh. Wow, um... I can't quite explain it. Uh, I feel... odd? Hmm? You see, this is my first time. Oh wow, I can't believe it. And I am 
really screwing this up right now. So then, it was love at first sight? Huh? What? I'm sorry. I'm really... You said you have to work, right? Work? Uh, I guess... Sorry. I, uh, I gotta go now. I have a, um, a dentist appointment now. Dentist? Yeah. Dentists get angry if you're late, too. Oh, I wanted to stay with you a little longer. I guess they'll have to wait until next time. <laughs> okay, see you soon. Hey, wait! I'm actually dating someone already. Oh, this is a mistake. A mistake. It's gotta be a mistake. Ah, you know what? It just hit me. You know how they say every guy has three hot streaks with the ladies in his life? This is your third. Hot streaks? When the hell were the other two? When we were kids, you're the most popular with the girls. <laughs> I don't remember that. The second time you were in the zone was when you started dating Catherine. Although, uh, that's over if she finds out about this. <sighs> Crap, man. She's probably gonna kill me. That's what you're all scared about. As long as she doesn't find out, you're safe, right? Just act like it never happened. I'm not like you. I can't just ignore this. Well then, why not switch it up? That way you won't hear any more marriage talk, right? All that stuff about soulmates and eternal love is bullshit. Married life sucks, man. You really want to go through the same shit I have. I'm not like you. I don't want to sleep around. I just want life to stay the same. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. If you're gonna whine, you shouldn't have done it, dumbass. Well, no shit. I wish I could just live all carefree like you. Don't you realize there's nothing you can do, you schmuck? No matter how good you are to a woman, you never know if she'll stab you in the back. <sighs> Well, if you're gonna ditch the new girl, hook me up. She's cute, right? You got a picture of her? Nice. No, I don't have her pic. She's not your type, anyway. Come on, how do you know that? Because she's my type. Oh. <sighs> Damn it, I am so fucked. Hey, have you heard the rumor about the dream where you're falling? Huh? Who cares? Come on, if you fall and die in the dream, you'll die in real life. My friend's boyfriend almost died. Isn't that scary? Huh? How do you know? Were you able to see his dream? Hey, you all right, man? You don't look so hot. Uh, I guess I didn't really get much sleep last night. Obviously. Anyway, you're way too freaked out over a one-night stand. Hey, you paying attention? Listen, man. Huh. I never saw the girl. Oh, really? I figured one of you guys told her to sit with me. Eh, if this girl was cute, you'd definitely remember. You know, I gotta say, because of you jerks, I never get a chance to date anyone. If I was a ladies' man, I wouldn't be here every night with you guys. Anyway, you dig the older chicks, don't you? Yeah, I want a woman who's, you know, mature, stern, and has a nice pair of heels. Whoa, man. I like that creepy guy in horror movies who tries too hard to be noticed. Shut up! I'm not like that! What's wrong with, you know, having some adult fun with someone older than I am? Hmm. So? Did I hear someone call for me? Oh, hey, Erica! I've got a nice pair of stiletto heels I know how to use. Whoa, Erica. Okay, enough of that. So have you guys heard about the woman's wrath? They say it targets cheating men and kills them. Or not. Which is it? Wait, 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 what? What exactly is this woman's wrath? Oh, you don't need to worry about it. You only care about your girl, Vincent. Oh, what are you talking about? This guy totally needs to know. Cheating is pathetic. I agree with Toby. 
Pathetic. Who are you calling pathetic? Shut up and eat your peanuts. My eye! Huh? What? You're cheating. Weren't you talking about marriage? Why don't you say it louder? Seriously, stop yelling about cheating and shit. I, I think someone on Mars didn't quite hear you. Oh, that's low, Vincent. Lowest of the low. Don't call me that. Now you know. Just leave me alone. Well, well, come on, tell me about this girl. Oh, God. Apparently, she's destiny-level cute. Cut that shit out. Are you kidding? Finding your soulmate is awesome. I'm totally jealous. You jackasses better not mention this to anyone outside the bar. I am serious. Dude, we know the drill. Say, have you heard? It seems that Boss was a bit of a player back in the day and broke more than his share of hearts. You see how he's wearing those tacky sunglasses indoors? They say he's using those to hide his face. <laughs> yeah, right. You're in hot water yourself, right? Maybe you should invest in some shades. Ha ha ha. Shut up. I'm done fooling around. Oh, by the way, Rin's gonna play the piano here, starting today. That? Okay. Hello. Do you know where you are? Okay. Never mind that. Uh, how about a name? Uh, uh, Rin. Rin? That's a nice name. Uh, who is that, though? What was that? Amateur hour. Oh, don't say that. Rin's working really hard. Uh, Vincent? What did you think of my performance? Oh, it was, uh, great. Yeah, it was great. Really, uh, unique. Thank you so much. I was hoping to play a little better than that, but... Don't worry about it. No one gets things perfect the first time around. I guess you're right. I'll have to keep practicing. Yeah, if the bar doesn't go out of business by then. God! Well, I'll see you later. See ya. <laughs> well, nobody's perfect. I mean, <laughs> if she's that cute, who cares, right? <laughs> What's up with you anyway? Saving some cute girl from a stalker in the streets? Sounds like a daytime soap opera. That stuff doesn't really happen. Well, it did, so give it a rest. Does that girl really have amnesia? Erica, you took her to the doctor, right? Did they find anything? Not really. They think it's only temporary. But it must be hard when the only thing you remember is wanting to play piano. Hey, so are you two really neighbors now? Yeah. The uh, last guy just happened to move out. You better keep your hands off her. Oh, shut up. It's not like that. I, I'm an old man over here. But you guys really came through for us. You know it. Having Rin work here was a great idea, huh? We have you guys and even a police officer as customers. Not to mention, public spaces are a lot safer if she's really being stalked by someone. Yeah. You can drink by pressing the square button, or get up by pressing the circle button. 
You can open menus with the options button. You can change the puzzle type and difficulty of the game in config. Raise your intoxication level up to three times. How drunk Vincent gets corresponds to how fast he moves that night in his nightmare. Oh, shit. I've never cheated in my life before. Hey, about that girl. Rin, right? You filed a police report, yeah? Guess we'll hear something sooner or later. Worst case, we'll just let her stick around here. Don't even think about making a move on her, all right? Ha, <laughs> you're one to talk. You got your own shit to figure out first. Are you seriously okay, man? They say men who cheat get cursed. Curse? That's so stupid, I can't even laugh at it. <laughs> the timing's too good. Still, I can't believe you cheated. But if she's that cute a girl, maybe it's a lucky accident, huh? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> well, good luck keeping it a secret. That or beg for her forgiveness. This isn't something forgivable. Ren's gonna be fine. We'll keep an eye on her. What about you, though? You okay? That thing about men who cheat being cursed? Apparently, it's related to those mysterious deaths. You mean, like how Paul died? Yeah. Word is, this is getting called the woman's wrath. <laughs> Sounds like something Erica would like to have. Hey, Paul's been here a few times, right? Yeah. He was a classmate of ours back in high school. I ran into him just the other day. Seriously? How was he? We just traded greetings, but he looked fine. Maybe I should have paid more attention. Hey, it's not your fault. Hmm? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you got a mail. You can take your phone out to check it by pressing the triangle button. You can also save images and messages. She hit a wrong note. <laughs> That's a deal breaker for me, no matter how cute she is. Anyway, you and Catherine have been together a long time, right? What was it like in the beginning? I just want to know for reference. <laughs> it wasn't anything special. It was at the reunion. He was giving her dating advice. Then he ended up falling for her himself, right? He ran to her side in the middle of the night when she was depressed, after all. Hey, stop that. Stand-up guy like that turns out to be a cheater. Seriously. Maybe if I'd talked to Paul more, this wouldn't have happened. You got a mail. Sensitive, aren't you? You don't look it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shut up. Well, she's a bit cold, but Catherine's a good girl. You don't tell me that. You got a 
lot of mail. Lindsay, would you like to speak to Martha? Oh, uh, sorry if you're staring. <laughs> Please sit. Have you ever heard this story before? The man who climbs the highest mountain gets his every wish granted. What's that? It said a man climbed that mountain 300 years ago and was given a fortune. It said a man climbed that mountain 700 years ago and was given the world. A man who climbs the mountain now will be given his future to do with as he pleases. Is this a fairy tale or something? These are true stories. The story of Rapunzel is based on this true story. A prince who was able to climb a very tall tower gained his princess. Now, what will you gain? Huh? Will you become the man of legends? Uh, that's Catherine. Bless Mr. Morgan. You got a mail. be too careful. Oh shit, it's the fan. You'll protect her, right? It's your problem too? Seriously. Anyway, you a cheater? Who would have thought? Don't you care about Catherine? Uh, of course, but I feel like I wasn't even involved with it. Well, you were. I hate to be so confrontational, but jeez. Men and cheater cursed. If that rumor's real, what are you gonna do? Nothing, because it's not real. started dating you because she just couldn't leave you alone. You're stupid in all the right ways. It tickles her maternal instincts. A dominant, independent personality like hers is usually attracted to minds like yours. Well, is that the way it is? Just don't be a bad influence, okay? Rin's no child, but still, I've never seen someone so innocent. I feel like I need to step up and be Mama Erica. You're not filling me with confidence here. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Vincent. I'll get to see everyone here each night. And I'm really excited to play the piano at a place with such an adorable name like the Stray Sheep. 
Yeah, don't thank me, thank Erica. Oh, no, wait, actually, it was Boss who hired you. Um, so I heard that you're getting married? Well, I don't know about that. We have been together quite a while, though. I see. Hey, Rin, do you have any idea who was chasing you? No, not really. It was all so sudden. But everything's calmed down now, so it's fine. Uh, I guess. Well, we're all here for you, so let us know if you need anything. Men are only acknowledged by their upward mobility. Don't be a tumbleweed. Be like ivy, always climbing. Time will slowly pass each time you sit and talk to people. Have fun with the other bar patrons. Over time, the people and the conversation topics will change. Some customers are experiencing difficulties. Try to cheer them up if you can. You can go home at any time from the door in the front. Perhaps it wasn't the best idea to hire a musician for her looks. It's just that when I saw her, I felt an arrow pierce my heart. That's a miracle you haven't run this place into the ground. <clears throat> anyway, have you seen the news recently? It's nothing but stories about those deaths. He said that there are several people who've died in the same fashion. Erica says that people believe it's a curse given when a woman is scorned by an unfaithful man. A grown man talking about curses? It just ignore Erica. A woman's guess is much more accurate than a man's certainty. To pitch a phrase from a certain someone. You don't think it applies to Erica? Then there's nothing to worry about. Erica's guesses are never on target. By the way, you look a bit glum. Hey boss, you uh, you ever cheated on someone? My, my, my. It's not like that. It was an unintentional event. Unintentional? Are you sure about that? To tell you the truth, I can't really remember. Did you have too much to drink? Oh my. Besides, I heard you were wearing those shades to hide from an ex-girlfriend. To a man, it may be a one-night stand, but to a woman, it is the beginning of a lifetime. And to borrow a line from a certain someone. Anyway, it is a strange rumor. Both of us should be careful. Employing a pianist, huh? Guess this bar's ranked up. Listen, Archie, you've got to become a better man. I don't know how you're ranking it, but I'm not desperate to climb the social ladder. Men are only acknowledged by their upward mobility. Don't be a tumbleweed. Be like Ivy, always climbing. Then let me introduce you. This is Todd, and this is Archie. Are you on your way home from the office? Or not? You're not wearing a suit. A suit? Oh, I don't have that kind of job. That's a shame. You're not one of our customers, then. What do you mean? We make business suits. Haven't you ever heard of Bantam suits? Have you heard the jingle? You'll be the cock of the walk in a Bantam. Oh, you're from Catherine's company. Hey, I think I've heard your voice before. Huh? Have we met? I think of it, but I don't remember anything. Todd's a hard guy to forget. His hair looks like a rooster, doesn't it? That's enough cock a doodle out of you. <laughs> oh. Uh, wow, you're sharp. You got a mail. Check this out somewhere where no one can see.
wonder if the woman's wrath rumor I heard about from Erica is real. She said that I was going to die somewhere along the line. Apparently, I have a wanting look to my eyes. Would I be cursed for unfaithfulness for this, too? Whatever. Still, she really rags on you, huh? Woman's dearest delight is to wound man's self-conceit. Uh, to wrangle the words of a certain someone. But tell me, do I look vain or otherwise untoward? I don't know, but in Erica's case, it's a bit different. I cannot deny that I look upon Rin with a certain male gaze. Regardless, let's both try to avoid any curses and deaths, shall we? Uh, I think I'll go home for today. My head hurts. Quite a few customers come here just to see Erica, which is great for business. And now we have Rin. <laughs> I guess you can have too much of a good thing. I'm gonna head home. Excuse me. This is breaking news in our ongoing coverage of the rash of mysterious weakening deaths. The following people were proclaimed dead today. Those mysterious weakening deaths. I can't believe that Paul's dead. That's all we currently have on this story. We'll be moving on to the news after a brief update on the weather in Area 15. It was decided that the eldest son of the famed oil baron Baril will inherit nearly 30 oil fields. Time passes so slowly here. It's really nice. What do you usually do here, Vincent? Uh, oh, um, well... Guess I drink, relax. <laughs> that sounds like fun. I'd love to join you when things aren't so crazy. Oh, uh... <laughs> Vincent. What do you mean? It's hard to explain, but I have a tingling feeling. Like something's coming. Oh, are you sick? You should probably get some rest. <laughs> of course. I gotta go take a leak. Is it true Orlando's divorced? Huh? Y you didn't know? He got married while he was pretty young. He lost a lot of money in some scam, and his wife left him. He pretends not to mind, but I think it still gets to him sometimes. Even when his wife calls him, he... Huh? Uh, what do you mean? Um, well, never mind. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Guess we're done today. Uh, it's late. Anyway, I can't hurt her anymore. Yo, Vincent, we're leaving now. You're not going home yet? Uh, well, I think I'll stay and drink a little more. 